everyone. Hey, congratulations on this uh, holiday film, Mary Good Enough. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well, or at least we could call it a holiday film. You know, it it is a it is a dark, dark comedy about you know the stresses of a uh, of family. So it 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 is terrific. But let's uh let's ask that obligatory question first. I'm going to ask it to Caroline first. Is a uh, Caroline, where did you get the idea from for uh, for for writing the story for Mary Good Enough? Um, you know, I always say that the plot is fictional. My mother's never run away on Christmas, uh, but I am from Massachusetts and I am, I did grow up with divorced parents. I'm someone who has always found Christmas to be wonderful. And I do love the music. I love the traditions, but I also, you know, all of us, I think at this time of year, carry a lot of conflicting, painful, melancholy emotions, no matter what our background is. Um, so I think I wanted to capture the up and down, that the feeling of getting out of your car in a parking lot to run errands, rushing to get gifts, to get the food together, and all the while you're you're managing all these relationships you have with people. Um, and I love Christmas movies, so it's a long-winded answer, but. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Ray Sawyer, uh, tell tell us about uh, you know your initial attraction to to the story. Why you wanted to you know be a part of this cast? I well, yeah. When I, I you go ahead first, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you read a script, you know within the first few pages, you know if it's if it's engaging and well well written and. Um, and yeah, I just, well, reading the script, it, it all comes down to the script. I, my heart was broken when I read it, but in the best way, because I, I left with hope and um, a, a love for this character, Lucy, who goes through such a journey, who I play, going from Scrooge and resistant to Christmas, um, unable to explain why, but uh, a lot of angst and tension, and then more open-hearted and taps into the love that she has for her family and her mother and, you know, wanting the fam, just happy that the family's gotten together and that it's good enough and she's not going to fight it anymore, you know? So, um, I, I was drawn to the, the, the authenticity of it and how well the dialogue felt and the conversations felt like conversations I had had, you know, with family members. And, um, so yeah, it was, it was super authentic really smart and um, a, a, a really nice arc that all the characters go through and no one's a bad guy in the story. Everyone's doing their best. So I felt like it was just like a real slice of life, beautiful, you know, fresh take on a holiday classic movie. Um, and we call it a, a dark comedy with a warm heart. And I really think like there's a lot of love at, at in this movie. And, and if you, so yeah, it's like, it made me laugh. It made me cry. And when I see something that like, I feel all my feels, and I, I get a good laugh and I get a good cry in, like, that's my movie. That is my kind of movie. And that's a part of the story that, that's a story that I want to be a part of telling. Sawyer? Yeah, no, it's, I, I, I've, I've seen a lot of holiday movies. And what struck me about this one when I read it was that it, it didn't feel like a holiday movie. It felt like a, um, a family uh, story and a family drama. Uh, and I was really interested in all the different characters. They were all very well written and very unique from each other. And they're, they're adult children coming back home from their lives to celebrate Christmas with their family. And they're all coming from their own, you know, experiences, but they're coming together and they're all being thrown back into their, uh, back into their roles that they've been playing since they were kids. And how do you how do you fight that? How do you you know cope with that? How do you overcome that? And the writing uh, and the directing done so well by Caroline Keene really um, allows the audience and allows the characters to begin to accept everyone's imperfections. And when you know a lot of the holiday films I've seen. I've, have have not tapped into that in a way that I, I that the script has, and so I, I I was I was more than happy to jump on, um, uh, to play your friendly neighbor Sam. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Most excellent. Yes. Caroline, uh, tell, tell us about, uh, you know, direct, directing uh, with Dan on an ensemble cast uh, for, for a film like this, especially for a dark comedy. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting hearing Ray talk about reading a script because in a way it's similar to working with Dan. It's either going to work or it's not. And I think he and I, ever since we met, have connected well and, and bring complementary energies uh, to the process of filmmaking. Um, I think we have a similar sense of humor. Um, and so I think when when two people share a, enough of a vision, it, it makes working together pretty seamless. We also both love actors and love characters. And so, you know, my approach is more of of the writer director and and with the story and the emotions, but he's a cinematographer and director is also a, thinking that way too. And, and I tend to love filmmakers who um the the camera works beautiful everything is beautiful and working but you're not noticing that you're you're staying with the characters and the emotion and he has that approach as well um so i i couldn't love working with him more and uh he's just he's a great collaborator so now of course uh, you know th this film is a dark comedy in its own way i mean and because you know it's about family squabbles family stress there there's a missing mom and it seems like every character in your film copes about a missing mom in their own way in, in a funny way because this is a dark comedy mm -hmm. um tell tell us about uh you know trying to create these characters to cope react differently <laughs> for yeah no, that was so much fun and and i loved you know we didn't have a lot of rehearsal time but i did work with all the actors ahead of time kind of crafting these backstories and and at least with the three siblings in the family, they, they've all had different experiences as we all do with our parents. We have we have the like shared relationship we all share and then we have our own private uh, experience. And so I think, you know, the older brother uh, who's who's played by Daniel Damaris, he's so funny. He uses humor as a shield. He's also lives on the other side of the world uh, and he's kind of removed himself, but but he also deeply cares. Um, and, but I always said to him, he is in some ways like the father where I think he's not as worried as, as Ray's character. I think she, um, is, is dealing with a lot. She's carrying a lot more of her mother's, uh, emotional baggage for better or worse. So she's, she's feeling a lot more. Uh, and then uh, Comfort Clinton who plays Cynthia, I think her way of coping is, uh, to kind of, everything's going to be fine. I just want things to be normal. Um, and so they're all, yeah, they're all having their own, their own journey through, through this situation. Although, you know, the three of them, one of my favorite scenes is them driving to this police station early on in the movie. They are united in a way. And that's also kind of the fun of the film is you, you see them as a team, you see them fall apart and they keep coming back together, but ultimately they all love each other. Mm. Yeah. Great. Right. You know, your 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 character is the center of all this. Tell tell us about getting into the headspace of a uh, of of Lucy and and how relatable is Lucy to you? Oh yeah, I mean, I felt um, it. You know, it's not like plot point by plot point in my life, but I felt Lucy was so relatable because she just has a huge heart. She is so resilient, but she's very vulnerable. And the love and yearning that she has to have a, a wonderful Christmas with her family and a love for Christmas, you know, like when, you, when you're when you a kid, sometimes when you want your closeness with your parent, you push them away. <laughs> we do these like strange things with our parents. And, and I feel like Lucy is just navigating being an adult with her mom and wanting to be seen in a different light and wanting to evolve and seeing that they're falling into the same, um, you know, habitual automatic roles. She doesn't want to play the role anymore where she gets blamed for things. And, and so, yeah, they're just trying to grow within each other and have a good relationship. And Lucy wants that relationship and closeness so bad with her mom. Um, and I think that is relatable across the board. And it's very human struggle, adult children and parents, they just speak different languages and it can be a very difficult and fraught relationship, especially mothers and daughters. And so, yes, I related to her and I felt for her so bad and hard and I rooted for her. And I also saw the mom struggle 
with Lucy. And so it actually gave me more empathy and understanding in looking, watching the movie and seeing that relationship play out. And I think it even made my Christmas better and my relationship with my parents better. I don't know. Funny enough. I mean, I, yeah, it's, it's, I, I really feel like it was very meta in that I was able to like really go through all of those feelings and emotions like Lucy in a genuine way. She's, I love it's her. A and, and Ray's so great. Part of what, you know, some of the more comedic aspect of the character is she's kind of creating these messes and trying to get out of them. And it is all, it does all come from a good place. And she is a challenger. Uh, and so, you know, there's this pretty intense scene early on in the film. And then you kind of are seeing, she doesn't really know what to do. So she buys these huge poinsettias and you see her, you know, walking in the house and it's like, you know, she didn't want that bad thing to happen and now she's trying and, and there's something very lovable and and Ray is just so amazing at you. You're like, what is this person doing? Oh my God, she's amazing. And you're, you're going along with her. I mean, I think she has, she feels a, a huge responsibility and she feels like she is the reason that the mother is missing, although she may not want the siblings to know that, you know, but she's, she feels a real strain on on you know what's going to happen over the next few days and like where is where is mom and why isn't she picking up her calls she's always there she's always in your face with the camera why is she not there right now and where is she yeah so it was a cool journey to go on that is true and so are the, um playing sam do you do you feel like a do you play him as an outsider do you feel like an outsider <laughs> in in right. its own way in my own way, do I feel like, yeah, I do, I do feel like an outsider every, every now and again. I, I, I love playing Sam because he, he's comfortable in his own body. He, he really cares about Lucy. You know, I, I, Caroline and I work together on a backstory and, and we, we you know, this family is so consumed with the, with their own um, conflicts and they're so in it. And Sam had spent enough time in California, away from his family. And his father had passed away when he was younger. And then he had time to sort of develop his own personality. And 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 you really knew who he was. So when he comes into Lucy's life, he's outside of the family the dynamics enough to be to give her a fresh new perspective um, mm -hmm. in a non-confrontational, non-judgmental way. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it, it's it's it, it was it was the first time I got to work with Ray, who's also my wife in real life, uh, and uh, we got to uh, be on the screen together for the first time. So it was very exciting mm -hmm. to do that. And uh, yeah, I uh, I will was, say yeah. I will say also like when we were filming, we 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 shot a a uh, you know a couple of weeks before Sawyer came in onto set. So yeah. me and the siblings got to develop this like you know, banter and familiarity. And then Sawyer came in and he was like this fresh new presence. Yeah, so. there's this one line. Um, and I had a friend of mine actually say this where it's the first time we see Sawyer's character and, and you know, Lucy's going through this kind of stuff with her family, but still kind of hiding it from him. And he says, I always thought your family was cool. And a friend of mine said, you know, we have a we have a friend in our friend group that we all feel the way. She's the coolest family. Meanwhile, she's like, my family's crazy. And we're like, oh, we want to <laughs> be in your family. And, and there's something yeah. so genuine about Sam and Sawyer where he's like, he's not just, he is a nice guy, but he's, he actually feels that way. He thinks uh, that your family is fun. It's cool. Like, and so he, it's interesting to have that outsider who sees something a little bit differently and, and, and Sawyer is so wonderful in that role. Yeah. Well, some perspective, some perspective. Well, that's excellent. Well, let, let me wrap it up with a, hopefully one last fun question because, you know, Christmas is just a few days and, Hopefully you don't uh, spend your holidays with a missing mother or, or missing family members or internal uh, squabbles. That's why we, we that's what Thanksgiving's for. So how how do you best uh, celebrate? Uh, how do you best uh, celebrate your your holidays with your family? So I'll start with Caroline and then uh, then I'll leave the last for the couple. Um, I mean, a huge thing for me is Christmas music. There's plenty of it in this film. So I love some good Christmas music. I love eggnog. I love ham. It's all in the film. Uh, yeah. So just some of those traditions and uh, being a little cold, but happy and, and sharing love with friends and family. Ray Sawyer, how, how do you folks feel? We, you know, we, we, we have kids. So our, our Christmas really, our holidays really revolve around them. We want them to have a special time with, with family and, 
and extended family. So we're going to do that this year. And uh, as a wrap gift, uh, last year, Caroline gave Ray and I a bottle of New England spiked eggnog. I think it's got all sorts of fun stuff in it. So I think we'll crack that open next week. And, uh, you know, you can, you can, you can buy our film online on Apple and on, on all the platforms and, and you can watch it at home and pour yourself a nice drink and enjoy with your family. So yeah. that, that's what we'll be. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to have kids because you could just kind of put all the attention on them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sit back and take a, <laughs> take a back seat. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, this yeah. film is good enough. I just want to say before we close out, like it's just such a fresh take on a holiday classic. And uh, I just feel like it really pulls on your heartstrings, you know, and, it, and it, if you want a good belly laugh, and a good cry, happy tears. You know, this movie is for you. It just captures like the messiness. It's like you're a fly in the wall watching a family, dysfunctional family dynamic play out. And um, it just, yeah, you watch it with your kids, watch it with your grandma, watch it with your, the next door neighbor, you know, watch it alone. It's it, December 19th is coming out. So yeah. we're all very much obsessed with it and so happy to be a part <laughs> of, the making of this movie. Yeah. Well, that that is wonderful. Uh, um, you know, it is it is a holiday film, and everyone should check it out. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll you you do everything uh, watching this film. So, thank you very much for carrying this conversation for uh, Mary. Good enough, really appreciate it, and uh, let's a uh, happy holidays for all. Of you. Happy holidays. Hey, happy holidays. Hey,